Now, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of thin and light laptops. I want to be able to travel as light as possible and to get as much power as I can. But again, I don't want to break my back or the bank. So I think I found something that might be of interest. It's the Vio SX12, and I've been under embargo for the last few days because they couldn't talk about it. It's a 12 and a half inch display. It's got a great quad core CPU, a really nice design, and it comes in under two pounds. Yes, I'm talking about the all new Vio SX12 that's released today. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Vio SX12, coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 Professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off. Even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem. I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. Now before we begin, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Vio sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Vio. I'm not being sponsored by Vio. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. The review unit is on loan from Vio and once this review is done, I am sending it back to Vio. Now before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. What you're looking at is a 12.5 inch Full HD anti-glare display. It's powered by the Intel 8th generation processor. My review unit has the Core i5-8265U, but it also comes with a Core i7. Now it also is powered by the Intel UHD Graphics 620. Storage options start at 256GB, but you could also get it with up to 1TB of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. It has a 35 watt hour battery, 802.11ac dual band wireless, Bluetooth 4.1, Optional 4G LTE, it comes in an extremely thin and light package under two pounds. You're also looking at a starting price of about $1,100 US and should be available by the time this video goes live. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. In the box is your extension cord along with a 45 watt power adapter, which uses a barrel pin connector. It also has a USB port to allow you to charge things like your smartphone. Also in the box is your startup guide, warranty and safety information, and of course, the unit itself. Now holding the unit for the first time, two things come to mind. Number one, I'm incredibly lucky they sent me the pink model, but all kidding aside, it does look nice. And number two, this is so thin and light, it's an incredible feat of engineering in my opinion. It's pretty amazing. Now, in addition to the pink color, you could also get it in silver, a really sleek all black edition, and a new color called Kachi Iro, which in ancient Japanese basically means winning color. So a really nice looking color as well. I'm interested in checking that out in person. Now, when it comes to the ports, you won't be disappointed. In fact, I'm pretty amazed on just how many legacy ports this, this thing has considering its small stature. Let's start off on the left side. What you get is your power port, a Kensington lock port, two USB-A 3.1 and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Moving over to the right side, full-size SD card slot, USB-A, a USB-C USB port, Gen 2, and of course, HDMI, RJ45, and a VGA port. And it's a really durable laptop undergoing a series of tests. Now check out this bend test to show just how durable this thing is. It can really take a licking and keep on ticking, that's for sure. Okay, I'm a really big fan of the display. What you're looking at is a 12.5 inch IPS non-touch anti-glare display. It's almost a matte display, so you don't get those unnecessary glare or reflections, which is really good, especially if you wanna get productivity work done with this laptop. It's also a very bright display coming in at 310 nits, making this an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. So definitely good. Anything above 300 nits in my book is very good. 
and at 68% sRGB, 51% Adobe RGB, it's okay for the creative professional that wants to do Lightroom, Photoshop, and do video editing. It's not the best out there. There are better choices, but for the average consumer, the average business person or student, or anybody who just wants to have a good experience, this is actually a really nice display. It's sharp, it's crisp, and overall has pretty good decent colors and contrast. And it has some pretty slim side bezels giving it a modern look, but you will notice a bit of a space on the top. That's of course to house the webcam. And because it's clever design, you don't notice the bottom bezel that much because of the ergo lift hinge raising the keyboard. And that's actually a pretty good design feature that not only gives you good airflow, but it also actually gives you better look in terms of the bezels. Now I'm a big fan of the keyboard. I think it's nicely spaced out. It has good tactile feedback, decent key travel, really comfortable for extended periods of time. I actually really like it. Now it's also got a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. That's always great. And it has a precision touchpad, although a bit undersized. It does have physical mouse buttons. Two finger scrolling was actually pretty buttery smooth and all the Windows 10 gestures work well. I would say it's actually pretty good. So this is the front facing camera on the Vio SX12, a really good ultra portable, thin, extremely light, under two pounds. The camera is 720p, 30 frames per second. Good for Skype, good for video conferencing. I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. One thing to note, the webcam is not infrared, so it's not Windows Hello compatible. But it does have a fingerprint scanner located below the cursor keys on the right hand side and it did work well, allowing you to log in with Windows Hello, pretty much registering my finger every time I used it. Good job on that front. Now when it comes to performance, I don't think you'll be disappointed. In fact, it's actually pretty good. Now my review unit came with the Intel Core i5-8265U Whiskey Lake processor, quad core CPU, eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Now as far as graphics are concerned, you're looking at the Intel UHC Graphics 620. There's no dedicated GPU option, so please keep that in mind. Very good for productivity, getting work done like Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, consuming media, watching Netflix, YouTube, all pleasurable, all very good on this ultra thin portable. Now, as far as video editing, you can do 1080p video editing. I wouldn't do any 4K video editing, especially with a lack of a dedicated GPU. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, you can play some of the older titles if you turn down some of the settings, but if you wanna play the more modern AAA titles on its highest settings, you can forget about that. There are better options out there, but that's not what this laptop is aimed at. It's not what it's geared towards, but you can play the occasional game here and there. Again, the older titles will run a lot better than, of course, the more modern titles. And I think one of the reasons we're seeing good numbers is because of the Vio True performance, which gives it a really nice boost in terms of that performance. And we're seeing it in the benchmarks. Actually, it's pretty good. Now, as far as user upgradeability is concerned, I was told by Vio that everything's pretty much soldered onto the motherboard, including the RAM, the SSD. So not much in terms of upgradeability as far as their user is concerned. So please keep that in mind. And I like the fact that the SSD gives you some really good reads and writes. Now, as far as the thin and light laptops are concerned, you always have to be worried about thermals, but I have to say they did a pretty decent job in terms of the thermals, especially with that ergo lift hinge, which allows for really good airflow. There's a heat vent above the keyboard, below the display, helps with heat dissipation, and there's another vent on the left side. So they do a good job in terms of cooling this system. Now, as far as the fans, they will kick in under heavy load, especially if you really push the system, but it doesn't get overly loud. And so it's not too obnoxious, not too annoying. And that's always good. Now, one thing that really surprised me was the battery life, considering this doesn't have a huge battery. It's only 35 watt hours, and it actually did pretty well on my continuous web surfing test, getting seven hours and 10 minutes before needing to plug in, which is actually pretty good considering the small stature of this device that doesn't have room for a larger battery. Now, the good news is if you do need to plug in, it also comes with a 45 watt power adapter that supports fast charging, That'll give you a full charge in less than two hours. In fact, it only took one hour and 54 minutes to give me a full charge. Now, when it comes to the audio, I'd say it's decent, not great. I would say it could use a little bit more bass and could get a little bit louder, but I would say it'd get the job done if you need to listen to something, but I would I'd say it's nothing outstanding. 
So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the all new Vio SX20? Is it worth your hard earned money? And the answer is absolutely, especially if you do a lot of traveling, if you're a business user, a student, or even the average consumer that likes to do travel, you're gonna love this laptop, especially because if it's really small size, it comes in under two pounds. But that doesn't mean it has to compromise when it comes to connectivity. There's a great array of ports, it's really good. Now the things that I would change with this, maybe add a Thunderbolt 3 port hopefully down the road and of course there's not really anything upgradable as far as the user is concerned but those negatives are not deal breakers in any way I'm going to give this an 88% making the Vio SX12 worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the all new Vio SX12? I actually really like it. And the reason being is if you're a business person, a student or the average consumer who does a lot of traveling, who doesn't want to break his back or her back carrying a laptop around, you might want to look at this, but you're not going to skimp on ports. This thing is loaded in terms of legacy ports, modern ports. The only one missing, of course, is Thunderbolt 3. Now, the thing that I like about this, you're going to get a solid seven plus hours with this so it's going to be a good in terms of travel as far as laptop endurance is concerned it charges quickly under two hours they do include a fast charger in the box i really like that comes in a variety of colors they were i was fortunate enough to get the pink one of course i would have probably gone with black but even the pink actually does look pretty nice with its metallic look they've done a really nice job in terms of the colors it goes on sale today it's being released here in the united states starting price of eleven hundred dollars you do get a 4k display option if you want to go with that you can spec it out to one terabyte of ssd storage you can go up to 16 gigabytes of ddr3 ram but the thing that's going to sell you on this is its portability and connectivity for this you can't beat it but i'm curious to know what you think let me know in the comments section below so please hit the like button please subscribe please share this video don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below let me know how i'm doing let me know if there's a device or something out there you think i should review i'll do my best to try to make that happen don't forget to check me out on facebook on twitter instagram and of course my website amdtechreviews.com so until next time this is andrew from amd tech see ya